on the Missouri Southern State University campus in Joplin, Missouri, through the doors of Webster Hall, under the on-air sign, in the KGCS studio. Welcome to Campus Update. Hello, and welcome to this edition of KGCS-TV Campus Update, a student-produced news program about the happenings of Missouri Southern State University. I'm Kisa Clark. And I'm Eric Crosswhite. Later in the show, we'll be hearing about several events on campus, including celebrations for Valentine's Day, a visit from the St. Louis Cardinals, and this edition of Campus Walk. We'll also meet today's international profile, have an update from the track team, plus have a chance to win some free food with Where's Garrett? But before that, let's take a look at Missouri Southern celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Monday, January 17th, Martin Luther King's birthday, a day to remember a man who had many accomplishments. Martin Luther King Day of Service is a nationwide initiative where people go out into the community and service with a dream of Dr. King's. Um, he believed that we build strong communities by serving each other. And so um, any opportunity to serve, but especially on MLK Day, is sort of a tribute and an honor to him. This is the second year the local community and university have helped and group size did not matter. One of the things that we're doing is taking students who are interested and building projects around their interests and around their size. We have uh, projects for very small groups, maybe four or seven students, and we have projects for large groups, you know, 30, 40, 50 students. I'm assembling a blood pressure cuff. They have a whole bunch of loose ends, odd ends for blood pressure, so we're just trying to get them all together and make sure they work. We cleaned out the cupboards, we painted everything, we um, went around and vacuumed all around the sides and then everyone kind of did their own things in cleaning. Uh, today our volunteers are going to be working in our emergency food pantry as well as doing some office and clerical type of work. Um, and it's, it's been a very beneficial to us as an agency, especially being a nonprofit, to have some people come in and help out. And it also helps us to educate some new people about what we do and about the importance of services for people with disabilities. With around 150 people who served last year and over 160 this year, everyone has a different motive for serving. Well, part of the reason I was motivated was uh, because I do remember Martin Luther King. I was alive when he was alive, and uh, so that has some meaning for me. It was good. It was nice to do something for yourself, well, for other people instead of for yourself, like you do every day, and for people that obviously need help. Even with the current discussion over the expansion of government services and dealing with the ongoing deficit, Local civic groups, churches, and individuals are taking the lead to help their neighbor, thusly making the Martin Luther King Day of Service a good example of how a community united can address complex problems. A month before MSSU celebrated Martin Luther King Day, it was celebrating the graduation of many students. Missouri Southern State University's 55th commencement was on Saturday, December 18th at Leggett and Platt Athletic Center on the MSSU campus. A total of 349 graduates received 377 degrees. Along with these graduates, Missouri Southern also lost some foreign exchange students, including our own campus updates, Christian Kaminsky. But before he left, he went on a special trip. Here's more. Today we are in Mount Vernon at Skydive, Missouri, and in a few minutes I'm going to jump out of an airplane. Before jumping from a plane, one must sign a waiver and undergo an hour and a half of instruction. Yes, that's a Barbie doll. As fellow German student Johannes Limberger and I trained, I couldn't help but wonder what jumping would be like. As the training continued, I was excited, I couldn't wait to do such a crazy thing. When the time arrived to jump, I discovered the plane was only big enough to accommodate the jump instructor, a skydiver and a cameraman. Johannes went first. As I waited for my turn, it was discovered I was the only one qualified to drive a standard transmission, so I was asked to pick up the skydivers when they landed. At least I made a friend. After a few minutes, it was my turn. Let's go have some fun! As I entered the plane, I noticed it looked like a scarting can with wings. I wondered if I made a mistake. No doubt, this plane was safe since countless people have jumped before me to include my friend. As we climbed to 40,000 feet, the instructor tried to calm my fears with a little joke. I know everything's pretty exciting. Yeah. You want to make it more exciting? Uh, I can't take it easy. You want to take it easy? Yeah. It didn't help. Yeah. 
then the door was opened. Attached to my instructor, I climbed out and held onto the plane for dear life. Then I let go. I was free falling. A rush of adrenaline went through my veins, then a sign of relief when I pulled the ripcord. The air was quiet. At first, time stood still, but as we approached the ground, I grew disappointed. I wanted to stay like a bird for a few more moments. This was awesome! If you have the chance to do skydiving, do it. For Campus Update, I'm Christian Kaminsky. Students just coming to Missouri Southern this semester had a welcome full of activities. Kisa has more. <laughs> to welcome students back and start the semester off right, Missouri Southern held several events on campus. The Students' Activities Office hosted snow globe making in the Lion's Den, where students had the opportunity to put themselves inside their own snow globe. Also in the Lion's Den were members of Student Senate. Student Senate served free hot cocoa in order to get the word out about upcoming projects, as well as recruit new members. Capital Improvement Committee Chairman Jonathan Saunders said there is one big project in particular. Student Senate is actually looking into doing some electronic signs. We want to do one, uh, one big one. Um, other community schools have some, uh, so we're looking to do something like that. The Student Senate has also added a new way to communicate with Missouri Southern students this semester. A Student Senate, if you notice around some of the uh, buildings, you'll find some comment boxes. It's suggestions uh, made by you, uh, the student. Um, any feedback is, is great. Later, the semesterly Lions Roar was held to give all registered campus clubs and organizations a chance to get their names out to students on campus. Club booths filled up the Billingsley Student Center, providing many new opportunities for students to get involved on campus. Incoming and returning students alike have a chance to win in this next segment, Where's Garrett? And that's right. Let's go out to that wacky Garrett for his first clue. I hear this time he's got a partner in crime. Oh. Hello Missouri Southern and welcome to this edition of Where's Garrett, the part of the show where you have an opportunity to win some free Gasanos if you can guess my location based on the three clues that I give you. Now this edition is a little bit different than the previous ones that we've had because today I'm joined by my lovely assistant Miss Quinna Glades. Quinna, where the heck are we? You know Garrett, I'm not, I'm not really sure. All I know is that it's a little chilly and uh, I hear a lot of echoes. Yeah, I'll go with that. It's actually a little bit scary down here too. That could probably count as clue number one, don't you think? I'd say that's clue number one. Okay, so if you were at Missouri Southern in a very chilly, spooky, and echoey place, where would that place be? If you think you know where we're at, shoot me an email at wheresgarrett at yahoo.com. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Garrett. Well, Mexico may be one of our closest neighbors, but it has its differences, as we'll see in this edition's international profile when we meet Regina Trevino from Mexico. I'm Regina Nayeli Torino Rodriguez. I'm from Mexico. This is Mexico, yeah. We know that this one is Mexico, but I'm on the north part. I'm from, where is, where is here? Monterrey. I came here like the 6th of January. And I choose it because I look at courses of theater. And I like all the stuff, so all sorts of communication, and I like them. So I choose, I need three options, and I choose this one. And the internship, the program, they told me to go to, to Missouri, and I said, okay, I will go. <laughs> Obviously, my family. That's uh, important, the first one, yeah. But also the food. <laughs> and I don't know, but oh, I miss a lot. I was talking yesterday with another friend, the mountains. You don't have a mountain, and in my home, for example, we have a lot of mountains, so yeah, I miss a lot. So. Schedule of meals. It's very different here and the uh, ones on Mexico. Because, okay, the breakfast is like in the morning, it can be earlier, but for example, lunch, lunch over there, it starts like at one and a half, two, uh, two of the afternoon, and here they start at 11. I say, that's breakfast for me, <laughs> yes. Over there, when they introduce someone, or you know an, uh, the person, you like say hello, but with a kiss, a lot. A kiss, and if you know the person, a hug and all this stuff. You, oh, you need to do all that. And here it's like, 
hey, oh, hello, you only stretch your hand. And it's like, hey, I want to give you a hug. I will be only here one semester, so my plan is to go back home because I'm almost graduating, so next semester will, will be my last. As Regina demonstrates, Southern has a very diverse group of students on campus with various languages. In this segment, Internationally Speaking, Campus Update's Levi Butts will introduce us to one language you may not even be aware of. Hello, I'm Levi Butts, and this is Internationally Speaking, the part of Campus Update where we learn a new word or phrase in another language. Today I'm here with my good friend, Julie Yang. What are you going to teach us today, Julie? I'll be teaching you guys Hmong today. And what word or phrase will you be teaching us in Hmong? I'll be teaching you guys hello. And how in Hmong would I say hello? You would say Niao Zhong. Niao Zhong? Yeah, very good. So in Hmong, to say hello, I would say Niao Zhong. Is that correct? Yes, you would say Niao Zhong. Okay, Julie, thank you very much. And thank you. This has been Internationally Speaking for Campus Update on KGCS. Well, I guess I'll have to start working on my Hmong now. Well, we have to take a quick break, but coming up after the break, we'll learn where your tuition goes, go diving, and learn some more campus history on Face Behind the Name. That's right, and later you'll also get some more clues from Garrett and go on a walk around campus in Campus Walk. We'll be right back. This is Dan Overdeer from Teacher Education Department. You're watching Campus Update. Stay tuned for more news. I'm Holly McFadden, professor of English and philosophy here at Missouri Southern, and you're watching Campus Update. In an effort to promote healthy eating, the Campus Activities Board sponsored a special healthy cooking contest in the Lion's Den on February 24th. Food was judged in four categories, including taste, appearance, creativity, and level of healthiness. The contest was open to students, faculty, and staff, and one serving of each dish had to be less than 500 calories. A holiday that is not often associated with healthy food was celebrated on campus with several special events. Campus Update's Melissa Holt has more. Valentine's Day is often considered a holiday exclusive to lovebirds. However, Missouri Southern students single and attached celebrated the Day of Love by participating in several events put on by campus organizations. The Campus Activities Board hosted Valentine's decorating and speed dating in the lion's den. The I Love Me bags were handed out to promote the importance of self-love. These activities were all free to students. Several organizations held Valentine's Day related fundraisers too. Southern broadcasters sold personalized Valentine's Day e-cards for $5 and Public Relations Student Society of America sold bottles of crushed soda to send anonymously. And the First Year Experience Office hosted a formal dinner and dance in the BSC Ballroom. Students danced the night away and enjoyed a three-course meal, all for free. Ballroom dance lessons were provided by Judy Schneider in the elegantly decorated ballroom. Love was definitely in the air on campus the week of Valentine's Day, whether you were in a relationship or not. For KGCS Campus Update, I'm Melissa Holt. The campus building featured on this edition segment of Face Behind the Name has housed many different people over the years, from the Health Center to the English Department today. Now Campus Update's Michael Woodruff has more. <laughs> 